Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the world of data, specifically the language that makes it all make sense, SQL or Structured Query Language. Now you might be thinking, data, SQL? Sounds kind of techy, but trust me, whether you're building websites, analyzing trends, or just curious about how information is organized, SQL is the key. Think of a massive library with millions of books. SQL is like the librarian that helps you find exactly what you need. Over the next few chapters, we're breaking down SQL step by step. From the basics of databases to writing complex queries, you'll be fluent in SQL in no time. So grab your favorite drink, get comfortable, and let's unlock the power of SQL together. All right, before we jump into SQL commands, let's get a handle on databases themselves. Imagine a database like a well-organized spreadsheet, but on steroids. It's made up of tables, which you can think of as separate sheets within the spreadsheet. Each table holds information about a specific thing, like customers or products. Within each table, you have rows and columns. A row represents a single record, like a single customer or product. Columns are the different pieces of information we store about each record. For example, in a customer's table, columns might be customer ID, name, email, and so on. A primary key is like a unique ID number for each row in the table. A foreign key links tables together, creating a relationship between them. Understanding these fundamental concepts is crucial for working with SQL, as it allows you to communicate with the database effectively. Now that we've got the database fundamentals down, let's fire up SQL and start writing some code. Don't worry, it's not as intimidating as it sounds. The first command you'll want to master is SELECT. It's like the search function of the SQL world. With SELECT, you can retrieve specific data from a table. For example, SELECT NAME EMAIL from customers would show you the names and email addresses of all your customers. Next up, we have INSERT which lets you add new data to a table. For instance, insert into customers name, email values, John Doe, john.doe at email.com, would add a new customer named John Doe to your database. Update comes in handy when you need to modify existing data. For example, update customers, set email, equal sign to newmail at email.com, where customer underscore ID equal sign 123 would update the email address of the customer with the ID 123. And finally, delete allows you to remove unwanted data from a table. For instance, delete from customers where customer underscore ID equal sign 456 would remove the customer with the ID 456 from your database. These four commands, select, insert, update and delete form the foundation of SQL. Practice writing simple queries using these commands on a sample database. You can find plenty of free online SQL editors and sample databases to play around with. The key is to get comfortable with the syntax and understand how each command interacts with your data. All right, now that you're familiar with the basic SQL commands, let's level up our game and learn how to filter, sort, and aggregate data like a pro. First up, filtering. Let's say you have a massive table of customer orders, but you only want to see orders placed in the last month. That's where the WHERE clause comes in. For example, select asterisk from orders where order underscore date, equal sign to September 1st, 2023, would show you all orders placed on or after September 1st, 2023. Next, sorting. Imagine you want to see your top selling products ranked from highest to lowest sales. That's where order by swoops in to save the day. For instance, select product underscore name, total underscore sales from products order by total underscore sales desk C would list your products in descending order of total sales. Finally, let's talk about aggregation. Aggregate functions like AVG, count, sum, max, and min allow you to perform calculations on a set of rows and return a single value. For example, select AVG order total from orders would calculate the average value of all orders in your table. Mastering these techniques will significantly enhance your ability to analyze and understand your data. All right, we've covered a lot of ground so far, but now it's time to unlock one of SQL's most powerful features, joining tables. By using the join clause, you can link tables together based on matching values in their primary and foreign key columns. 
Let's start with the most common type of join, the inner join. It returns rows only when there's a match in both tables being joined. For example, if you want to see the names of customers who have placed orders, you could use an inner join between the customers and orders tables, matching on the customer underscore ID column. But what if you want to see all customers, regardless of whether they've placed an order? That's where left join comes in. It returns all rows from the left table and matching rows from the right table. If there's no match, it fills in null values for columns from the right table. Understanding how to join tables effectively is crucial for working with relational databases. All right, you've conquered the basics and mastered the art of joining tables. Now it's time to dive into the deep end and explore some advanced SQL concepts that will truly elevate your query game. First up, let's talk about subqueries. Subqueries allow you to embed one select statement inside another, making your queries more efficient and powerful. For example, you could use a subquery to find all customers who have an average order value higher than the overall average order value. Next, we have views. Think of views as virtual tables that are based on the result of a stored query. Views simplify complex queries and make your database easier to work with. Now, let's talk about indexes. Indexes speed up data retrieval by creating a sorted copy of specific columns, making it much faster to find the rows you need. And finally, we can't forget about transactions and ACID properties. Transactions ensure that a series of SQL statements are treated as a single unit of work, either all succeeding or all failing. ACID properties, atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability guarantee that transactions are reliable and maintain data consistency. Mastering these advanced SQL concepts will undoubtedly set you apart as a data whiz. Practice writing queries that involve subqueries, views and indexes. The more you experiment and push the boundaries of your SQL knowledge, the more confident you'll become in tackling even the most complex data challenges. OK, you've learned a ton about SQL from the basics to advanced concepts. But now it's time to talk about writing clean, efficient code that runs like a well-oiled machine. First and foremost, understand your data and how it's structured. A well-designed database schema with appropriate data types and indexes can make a world of difference in query performance. Avoid using overly generic data types and consider creating indexes on frequently queried columns. Next, master the art of writing efficient where clauses. Use specific conditions that narrow down the result set as much as possible. Be mindful of joins, use the appropriate join type for your needs and make sure you're joining on indexed columns. And finally, don't be afraid to use explain. This powerful command shows you how the database engine plans to execute your query, allowing you to identify potential bottlenecks and optimize accordingly. Test your queries, analyze their performance and don't be afraid to experiment with different approaches. By following these tips and continuously striving for optimization, you'll ensure that your SQL code runs smoothly and efficiently, even when dealing with massive data sets. You've absorbed a ton of SQL knowledge from the fundamentals to advanced techniques and optimization strategies. Now it's time to put all that knowledge into practice and build some real world projects. One exciting project idea is building a database for an e-commerce site. You can create tables for products, customers' orders and payments, then use your SQL skills to manage inventory, track customer orders and generate sales reports. Another fascinating project is analyzing large data sets. You can download publicly available data sets on topics like weather patterns, stock prices or social media trends, then use SQL to uncover hidden patterns, identify correlations and gain valuable insights. If you're looking for a more structured learning experience, platforms like LeetCode, HackerRank and SQLZoo offer a wide range of SQL challenges and practice problems. These platforms provide a fun and interactive way to test your knowledge, improve your problem-solving skills and track your progress. Remember, the key to mastering SQL is consistent practice and application. The more you work with SQL, the more confident you'll become in your abilities. So go out there, build something amazing, and show the world what you can do with the power of SQL. And there you have it. We've covered a ton of ground in this video, from the fundamentals of databases to writing efficient SQL queries and building real-world projects. 
Remember, SQL is a powerful tool that can unlock incredible insights from data and open doors to exciting career opportunities. Whether you're building web applications, analyzing business trends, or simply curious about the world of data, mastering SQL is an invaluable skill, so keep practicing, keep exploring, and never stop learning. Now go out there and make some data-driven magic.